Hi friends, it's Miss Deborah. I just read you the book, The Button Box, and I wanted to show you a very simple game you can play using buttons and a die. These are two materials you will find in this week's drive through preschool bag. So to set up the game, you just put all the buttons in the middle and have your die ready. You can play all by yourself or you could play with as many people as you have at your house. So just roll the die, count the dots, and collect that number of buttons. Let's see, I have a four. I'm going to take purple, my favorite color, and I'll take pink and this nice bright orange one and this leopard one. All right, then you would pass the die to the next player. You keep going until all the buttons have been used up. If you want to add a little bit more challenge, you could add a second die. So you'd be rolling both dice and counting all the dots on both dice before you collect your buttons. Another way that you could add to the challenge is making another die into a color die. I did this just by taping on different colors of paper. And for the colors I didn't have in my paper collection, I just used white paper and colored it the color I wanted. And then because I had more colors I wanted to do, I, I used some of the sides for two, I put two colors on some of the sides because I had more colors of buttons than sides of dice. So you would roll the, the dice together. And in this case, I need to take one button, and it has to be either white or green. So even if I rolled a five on my turn, I have to choose between these two colors, not both. So then I would have to look for five green buttons. One. They seem to be all small. I'm going to look for bigger ones. Oh, here's a good big one. Two. Three. Oh, here's a different shade of green, kind of like an army green. Four and five. Now oh, it's kind of a bluish green. Another way that you could challenge yourself is by adding math symbols to the sides of the die. You could make it easy with a plus sign and collect. You, you roll them together and if it says to if it has a plus sign, you you get two buttons. I'm going to take ooh, one with a shank. How about that? And ooh, two with shanks. There's two that I added to my collection. And another symbol, of course, is minus, where you would take away two of your buttons. You're subtracting now from your collection. And then you could get really complicated by dividing, or you could use any math symbol that you can think of. There are probably endless ways to play the, the button game. And of course, there's no right or wrong way to play. You get to make it up all by yourself. Maybe you just want to make a picture with your buttons. Maybe you want to sort them out um, into your favorites, or into patterns, or colors, or numbers of holes. I bet there's as many ways to use buttons as there are friends at Pinnacle Preschool. <laughs> so have fun with the buttons, enjoy them, and let us know what you're doing with your buttons. Take a picture and send it in. Thanks, friends.